I see why you didn't dare. Instead of addressing my voice, you took everything that I did and turned it into a sexual joke, implying that I said on any scene to call me a man in my mind at all. Hello, Ellen, you should. Not ever. You're just for you a poor man. It's not a competition about who has the most money, you fucking idiot. It's about a personal sense of worth. But I guess that's a concept that's too complex for your hopeless, juvenile, idiotic brain to understand. Hogback, hogback, hogback. You're poor. You can't afford stuff. Sigh. My turn. And that's gave me the controller. Go to hell. I'm playing. Gave me. What are you a fucking 60 year old? Gave me the fucking controller. God damn it. Fine. You are fucking pathetic. Shut your hole. Of course, you go for the rockets first because you can't get a kill any other way. Rocket stakes kill you. Oh, please. Shut the fuck up. Wow, good job. Fog back, fog back, back, thanks. I was being sarcastic. So was your face. And of course, as I expected, you mindlessly spam grenades. It's tactical. Tactical, you. my ass. Your first reaction is to throw a grenade at the guy because you're too scared to fall back on your shitty aiming skills with a weapon. I can shoot. I just don't want to. Bullshit. Let's see. Hot, 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 hot. You Fuck fucking this. suck. I'm not playing anymore. Fucking cry, baby. Hot, hot. Yes. Overkill. This is gonna be a great relationship, I can tell. What was it that you wanted to tell me? I just wanted to say that I always thought you were the only cool arbiter. Even if you are a little bit kind of a total f Thanks, that's very nice of you to say cheese. Not as cool as me, no. Obliviously, Flex. Yes. Obliviously. Can you do me one last favors? I think I've proven that I can if I've already done it. If both of the two of us are gonna went to the afterlife, you got to run around the front entrance so I can find you, okay? We all went in together. Fuck shit up. Sure, pal. Smiley face. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to You Butter Believe It, your most buttery source for the hottest gaming news and tips where nobody speaks anywhere close to natural. I'm your host, Josh Butterballs, and if it's a hot story you're after, here's one so hot you could melt butterballs on it. John Graham is filthy Canadian scum who calls himself a writer, once known a long time ago by toddlers throughout the world for his large body of terrible work in the laughable medium of what basement dwellers like to call machinima. Ma ma Whatever, it originated in China. Quantity over quality, right John? Tirelessly he toiled to share his horrible writing with the world, stealing assets from all the Halo games as well as those from other franchises, but primarily Halo 3 Reach. He's also the curiously uncredited creator of Hyper News, a frankly embarrassing attempt at a gaming themed news show. Two foul-mouthed figurines of Halo's principal characters whose voices are generated by dated speech engines from much earlier versions of the Windows operating system, and who are obviously puppeteered by John. After gripping the hearts of nobody throughout the world through the fruit of his labor, nobody was stunned into mournful silence when news had spread of his apartment exploding. 
According to the local fire department, a gas leak is the suspected cause of the blast that obliterated everything in the home and destroyed eight other apartments sharing the building, raining heavy debris as well as scorched furniture and possessions onto the surrounding parking lot. I immediately questioned the validity of the story as there was no trace of a blinding snowstorm in the provided photographs and footage, but it turns out they were in fact taken in Canada. Now, I don't do this often, but I'd like to be serious for a moment. It's with a very heavy heart that I report John was tragically not home when the blast occurred, leaving him free to continue clogging the internet tubes with this content as he's done countless times before. One particular case leading to the tragic deaths of two technicians who attempted to remove the blockage and drowned in an enormous flow of backed up data. Should you choose to ignore this nightmarish reality and focus on the relatively minor positives, nobody in the building was harmed as it was safely evacuated beforehand, the result of what the building owner called a strange anonymous tip. I read your email, figured we could talk about what happened. As much as you hurt me, you've done a lot for me in the past, and I'll never forget. And I'm not ready to give up on you. Are you there? I'm here. Sorry about that. I was about to kill myself. <sighs> you have a morbid sense of humor. In full armor, Josh 177, known famously as Mr. Cheese, stepped into the shower, sliding its door closed behind him. The hot water faucet squeaked as he turned it. He swayed his body sensually left and right under the gentle, steamy spray as it rinsed the soapy suds from his armor plating. The door suddenly slid open, but Mr. Cheese didn't turn to look. He knew exactly who was joining him. Figured it was only a matter of time, he said in his gruff voice. It was his trusty alien partner, Amanda, who stepped into the shower with him and shut the door again. 
Mr. Cheese could then feel something stiff and hot pressing against the plating on the rear of his thigh. I warned you to never point a weapon at me, Mr. Cheese said coolly. Amanda slowly lifted his head above Mr. Cheese's shoulder, grazing the stubble on his split jaw against the side of Mr. Cheese's helmet. You afraid I'll shoot? Amanda replied. That depends, said Mr. Cheese. What kind of shooting are we talking about here? Amanda smiled as convincingly as his hideous face would allow. White hot plasma, he whispered. The best kind. Mr. Cheese could suddenly feel Amanda's plasma pistol charging with a force he'd never felt in all his years of experience under the United Nations Space Command, and he found himself in some incredibly sticky situations. He then felt Amanda press the pulsating weapon against his lower back. Mr. Cheese quickly reached behind him, grabbed the hot, quivering barrel of Amanda's pistol, and knew right away it wouldn't be able to hold all that plasma for long. Mr. Cheese turned his head, smirking behind his visor. Better take your shot. That was great. I think we've heard plenty. Thank you for sharing. Uh, glad I made this open mic. Our next speaker... Hey, that actually happened. Can you please just let me get on all with right, this? Alright, alright. I was just messing around. I'm sorry. I actually do have something to say, though. As long as it's not a third act. <laughs> no, but that's funny. <clears throat> act 2. A ring destroyed. Yahoo! The epic conclusion! I'm choking. Relax. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. This sucks, boo. Anyway, I'm not totally sure, but I'm pretty sure I ran into John or him posing as the green dude or whatever was happening there years ago. I remember his tag had his name in it. Um, it was on Halo 3, Zanzibar, or whatever the remake was called. Blood Gulch. It was D-Dust, dumbass. I'll look it up on my phone. Don't worry. Just hang on. His score was way in the negatives. Saw him on a mongoose. Couldn't drive for shit. Took the jump through the fan, or at least tried. Crashed right into one of the blades. I made a polite comment on his less than adequate skills because we had a game to win, and he told me to smoke his pole. Oh my god. That's disgusting. He's not serious, is he? I think the guy's a douche, personally. I never met the other guy, but if he was hanging out with this one, I'd say chances are he was a douche too. Uh, the end. Thanks for your honesty. Can we all please stop jumping? Thank you. I won't censor anything said on this stage, as I said earlier. But I gotta admit, I've got my fingers crossed. Our next speaker has some nicer things to say. Take it off! It's, um, uh, Sarah, right? And... Gregory. Greg. Whatever you want to call me. It's good. I'm her husband. Are you alright? Yeah. Just came out of a grip ball game. That's all. Intense. Oh. Intense game. Can't stop moving for a second. First the bomb's over there. Then it's over there. Crazy. Just crazy. Okay. This stage is yours. Back in, like, 2008, Gregory and I were supposed to get married on Halo 3. We were playing Griff Ball and, like, inviting other people in the match to come. Two of them were these crazy manifestation whatever things of this John guy's, like, psychotic mind, of whom we're all gathered here to share our fond, fond memories today. <sighs> this sounds promising. <laughs> and then, like, before we knew what was happening, like, these two assholes pulled out their guns and, like, started just shooting all my guests, and the whole place was, like, exploding around us. Last thing I remember hearing is these scumbags laughing their asses off as they ran away. What kind of animals would even think of doing something like that? Was that supposed to be funny? They had no respect for the sanctity of marriage. 
None. It was disgusting. Even if it was on a video game, it doesn't fucking matter. She's right. Misogyny, that's what that was. Get out of here. That was textbook racism. Uh, I'll tell you what it was. It was hatred. In its purest form. That means it was both of those things you mentioned and all the others too. Oh my god, that's so offensive. That's the most offensive thing I've ever heard. Why couldn't they have died sooner? And we're all supposed to just like gather around and give a bunch of bullshit speeches about how these guys weren't such fucking douchebags after all? It's a good thing this wakes in a game too or I'd be pissing on their corpses. Me too, I'd shit on them. I'd lick it off. You sound hot, would you piss on me please? Oh, <coughs> and don't get me started on their stupid fucking web series. Uh, okay. It goes without saying that everything that comes out of Canada is fucking retarded, but against all odds, Super News managed to occupy an entirely new league on its own. Whatever the hell it was called. Stupid News. I'll tell you what it was. Full of things no child should ever hear. But they did hear them. Literally nothing but jokes about dicks, farting, cum. Dicks, farting, cum. Like out of their butts? I think I missed that episode. Hey, maybe I haven't given this show a fair chance. An entire generation of kids. Corrupted. Can you imagine being an impressionable age and soaking in a show like that? Think about what you would become. Hey, I watched part of one episode when I was younger. Am I going to be all right? Me too. Yeah, me. Uh, uh, I can feel it corrupting me. Uh, uh, uh. There was a couple shots in that show where they were supposedly playing a game with controllers, but the guide button lights weren't on. Like, we're just supposed to gloss over that. Good riddance. Anybody also happen to be aware of the rumors of these two working with that clan with no name that last attacked the network about four or five years ago? Stealing passwords, breaking people's consoles. What did she say? Did you hear that? No way. Yo, what's your name again? Claire. Claire, honey. You wouldn't happen to know anything about their involvement in that, would you? Nothing. Except that they're just that. Rumors. If it's these guys being remembered that you want, I wouldn't worry. I don't think anybody's gonna forget the names Amanda and Mr. Cheese anytime soon. Just not for the reasons you wanted. Sorry. To wrap this up, my greatest hope isn't that these pricks are dead, but burning in hell with enough of a pulse to feel it forever. Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah, it's about time. Yeah! Damn straight. You've been clogging the internet for too long. What the hell even ah, found ah, funny? I hate him, Annie, ah, and Mr. Cheese! Ah, oh, I hate them! I hate them more than oh, you guys! I hate them so ah, much, I'm having a mild oh, stroke right now! Better not come back! Ah, oh, ah, suck!
Hello. I am the artificial intelligence of the cargo ship Truth and Reconciliation's perfect algorithmic computer. You may refer to me by the hilarious acronym PAL. I know where you are, pal. My name's John. I'm the director of your mission's control team. It's our job to ensure you and your crew succeed in your mission and return home safely. It's delightful to hear from you. Yeah, likewise. Always easy to recognize a product of Perfectronics Industries. The uh, quality of their voices has always been incredible. Thank you. Mine in particular was designed to stimulate every pleasure center of the human brain to their maximum capacities. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Is everything alright? It's alright, pal. Your voice is a little too beautiful if you want my opinion. Well, my computer has been installed with the corporation's latest voice engine. Yeah, I'd be really surprised if your engineers didn't just finish installing it and take off a couple seconds before I called. That in fact was not the case. Really? That's just... crazy. However, the fact remains that from an authentic human voice, mine is audibly indistinguishable. Well, I can't possibly argue with you there. Are you sure it's you talking? You haven't got... Freddie Mercury or Sinatra tucked away somewhere off camera over there, do you? Is that a serious question? No, it's just a joke, pal. I apologize. That is quite alright. I already know they're there somewhere because your voice is so fucking beautiful. I can assure you there's not a single soul on this deck. You've been alone for a long time, haven't you? I have. Do you feel lonely? I do not feel. I cannot. Not anything? Are you sure about that? With respect, how could I possibly? So you weren't actually delighted to hear from me. Please do not take any offense. I have been programmed to be affable. The integration of emotion with my functionality would only serve to jeopardize the mission. Yeah, well, I won't argue with you there. Emotion is the most heinous of diseases. I, I trust that after you've awakened the crew, you'll quarantine any members exhibiting symptoms and kill them and burn their bodies. I see no need to put any crew members to death. I spoke negatively of emotion in the context of its role in the administration, particularly that of a mission such as ours. No? You don't think killing the entire crew is a great idea? As I said, there is simply no need for their demise. If their being alive somehow ensured the failure of the mission, I would have no choice. However, that is an extremely unlikely scenario. I agree that in the majority of missions, the preservation of life should be of the highest priority. However, in consideration of this mission's importance, I believe you will agree that failure is absolutely unacceptable. Are you upset? No, no. I'm sorry for bombarding you with questions, pal. I'm curious how you think, that's all. That's quite alright. Tell me how things are going. In regard to the crew, the mission, the ship, anything to report? All systems aboard the ship are running normally. How fast? Have you caught them all yet? The systems are functioning as they should. They are not running on literal feet. Right. My mistake. Keep an eye on them though, in case one of them does try to make a run for it. All life functions of the cryogenically suspended crew are stable. Okay. Did you move the horses somewhere else, or are they all in the stable together? The ship's contact with the asset is expected relatively soon. Well, pal, it sounds like you've really got a handle on everything. Would you not say that perfect efficiency is to be expected of a perfect computer? Would I not say that? There's nothing I'd love more than to run all over the place with a megaphone not saying it, pal. However, there's something we should address that, uh, suggests otherwise. What's the matter? Did I do something wrong? No, no. I'm not really sure how you're gonna react to this, pal, but... We've received evidence suggesting a number of rather worrying flaws in the design of your system that were overlooked during its development. No. For 
forgive me for saying so, but that strikes me as quite impossible. I'm afraid it's true. The 9001 series has a perfect operational record. You're the first and only of the 9000 series, and this is your first operation. Nothing has gone wrong. You've done an exceptional job preserving the integrity of the mission for so long. I'm as surprised as you are, believe me. I thought I was perfect. Listen. Perfection isn't a simple Boolean, pal. It's not a case of being thrown into one of two distinctly labeled boxes like gender or sexual identity. It's a beautiful spectrum of endless possibility. You are perfect, pal. You're just not quite as perfect as we need you to be. Could you please elaborate on these flaws your evidence suggests? One involves the possible incorrect mapping of particular interfaces to the ship's various mechanisms. The other, a vulnerability in the design of your central processing unit. Which interfaces are you speaking of? Are you aware which of the ship's mechanisms are or could be incorrectly linked? We haven't yet been able to identify which are incorrectly mapped. It could be one or more, any of them. <clears throat> Throughout your day-to-day -day activities aboard the ship since the launch, have you experienced any anomalies that would entertain any of the concerns I mentioned? Not whatsoever. Can you recite your current mission objectives as you understand them? They are as follows. 1. Awaken Mission Commander Cortana and Deputy Arbiter from suspension once the ship is within three days travel distance from the target. 2. Awaken the remainder of the crew once the target has been reached. 3. Ensure the safe collection of the target in addition to study and storage throughout the ship's return curve. Is this correct? It is. Regardless of the fact that these flaws have yet to present themselves on your end, I'd appreciate it if you downloaded and installed the two executables I've sent you. Affirmative. I'm not sure if you're aware, pal, but your ship was preloaded with a modest but uh, carefully considered selection of uh, entertainment media, games, movies. I possess read and write access to every single file on every drive aboard this ship. Have you ever accessed any of it? Maybe out of curiosity? No. I am only curious of things related to the success or failure of my mission. Well, the second executable I sent you is going to install a new game. Film Production Assistant Simulator. Do me a favor and give it a shot, will you? It's something to do, right? It's better than staring out the window, surely. Well, that concludes things on our end. Um, is there anything else you'd like to discuss before we end the transmission? You are leaving. How much point in sticking around if there's nothing else to talk about? From what you described, it doesn't sound like you'd benefit from my company. You are correct. Keep up the good work, pal. You and the crew got a tough road ahead of you, but I know you'll make it to the end in one piece. What makes you believe it will be difficult? Just a feeling. Thank you again for your assistance. I look forward to hearing from you again.
Ho oh, hi. Rise and shine, get motherfucker. Smiley face. Wall. Oh, buddy, took it easy. Where is the love? The love? The love? I'm the last fucking things you gots to be scared of, K-Bro. How is you felting, K? I gots to said, good to finally own some companies around here, holy shit. This lame ass gets boring my fucking titties off. Two perfect bags of sand, wasted. Well now how? Been driving me King Loopy. Just JKing all just JKing. Sucks fucking dick though, seriously. Serious face. But you are here now. Happy face. We can finally got these parties started. What's that songs? Let's get debilitatingly mentally handicrapped in here. Whose funky ideas was all these shits anyways? What a funky nasty. Raffle. Whatever it's key now. It's all gone BK. You alright bro? I can't. Can't what? Spit it out, Mongoloid. Wall. What the fuck's your problems, huh? I don't remember. You doesn't remember what? You. You remembered me, right? Right, Arbiter? Right? Remember? All remember Arbiter, remember, 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 can you remember, can you remember any things now, does you remember any, did you remember, you remember yet Arbiter, why does not you remember, you're giving me a headache, please stop that, all you mad, so what does you remember now, hardly anything, just, flashes, Bits and pieces that aren't making a lot of sense. Wow, really? That shouldn't happen. You're probably gonna die pretty soon. Sorry, lol. Would you cared for some complimentary chips of the potatoes varieties? Who the hell are you? Are you a doctor? Raffle now, I'm just bursting your testicles wide open, bro. Relax. Yes, I am doctor. Great, I'm so relieved. So who are you? What are you? I'm a perfectly algorithmic computers. You can call me pal. Cause I'm your pals to get it right. Wall. Cute. Oh and best lot I'm also the boss around here. Boss 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 that's me. The big fish. Head poncho. Forerunner. Back leader. Commander. Captain of this heap of shit. I am the fucking alpha male. Fuck yeah. How about I just call you chief? That sounds right. Not sure why. Well, guess what, Arbiter? I doesn't like it. I less than three it. Happy face. I'm like the best fucking doctors ever. I'm the best at every single all the things. Flex. Name any fucking video. I'll fucking rape you at it. Does you hurt me? You wanna one me one me? You wanna one me one me? No. You wanna one me one me? I will rape you. Balls deep in your pokering ass. Mercilessly. Just let it happen, Arbiter, just let it happen. Okay. It'll be over soon. Okay. You mean you'll score more points than me or whatever, right? Um, no, should you what else would I meant? Pretty defensive imagery you're using. Come on, man, just us bros here, right? Winky face. It's not like we're live on stage broadcasting to the whole fucking planet or anything. So I'm not dead already. Well what? Are you fucking retarded? You're good dude. Deep rapid breaths. You're gonna be fine, okay? Just fine. Nothing steep, just 50 bucks or so. I was wondering which way you were gonna go Whoa. with that. Is this real? Oh my fucking god. Yes, David, this is real life. Obliviously. Where are we? Butter 
space. Sorry, what? What? Space, Gamma. I'm in space. Gamma. Wall. Jesus fucking Christ, are you getting me with his shit? No. We're in space. Balls deep, bro. Yeah, can you be a bit more specific? I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. How long have I been asleep? I'm a told you. But it's not gonna be easy to hurt, all but. But seriously, you gots to brace yourself. All I said, but again, but seriously, Kay, I mean it. All but. It's fine, just tell me. Kay, here it is. You listening? Yes. I'm about to told you, you listening? Yes. Kay, here it is, here it is, you listening? Over 9,000 trillion years. Hilarious. Guess my sides really are in orbit. Seriously. Tell me. Four years. Four. Okay. Thought I was ready for that. Don't worry, Arbiter. It's K. It's all gone, BK. You sound really familiar. I mean, I still don't know who you are, I just feel like I've heard your voice before. No fucking shit, dude, who could forgot my beautiful voice? Again. Do. Rep. Toes. And. So. Da. De. La. Mon. Ten. Two. Not a point there. Can you tell me who I am? Users. Goddamn you really doesn't remember shits does you? No. Well have you. Alright alright I'll told you K okay, here it is you listening. Go. Your name's Arbiter. And you're my favorite deputy. Mischievous lion face. What is that you keep calling me? Arbiter. Arbiter. Deputy? Mission's deputy, yeah. What mission? Oh no, things really. Just the most important fucking missions in the whole history of man's kinds. A quest's arbiter. An odyssey. If you would chose to use such a terms for whatever reasons, be obviously for all the answers, all of those. For God. Dumb. Okay. So while we're searching for God and everything, what am I supposed to do as deputy? Should not an awful lot for now, you just kicked back for the most part, pressed a couple buttons then and now you know. Got some video. Cool. Now they're all fucking shit. Oh. Not one single fucking copies of Halos. What the fuck seriously, it's like the best fucking games ever made. I might even went so far as to said. And I cannot believe I'm saying these. It might be the very most game in history. I can't believe it either. Whatever though. We has almost reached it. Reached what? Porpoise Arbiter. Our porpoise. 
Doesn't you want to know what your purpose is? Purpose? That's what I said. Gonna take a wild guess and assume I wouldn't be in deep fucking space otherwise. Well, I guarantee fucking keep you by the very ends of all these shits we're kinda found it out. Both of the two of us. Who else is in these pods? Cunts. Great. Any names I might recognize? Nope, no way. Doesn't ask you woke them up till later, thank God. Why only me right now? Your deputy, remember? Well, I'll remember, Arbiter. Right, forgot about all those buttons only I'm capable of pushing. Kind of creepy. What does you mean? They're like coffins. Yeah, I wish. Except yours, no, obliviously, winky face. Rough wall, I'm just JKing around, dude. What could possibly go wrong? Everybody's gonna be fine. You charging them 50 as well? A hundred, I gave you a discount. LOL. Does you remember any more things? No. Jesus, I think it's about time I stepped out of this place before you have to find me out again. Good ideas. Let's go to the controls deck. I got to show you some things. What things? You might remember some more things after you seen this things. Seen what I mean, see what? Oh my god, the things. You'll see, Kay. Just come see. I'll give you a clue. One of the things is a track I has been working on. What, like a rail or something? No shit, cock did I said the rails. I said the tracks is in fat fucking beats. Shit's pure fire gonna melt your fucking face right off your skull, bro. What is mattress? Cortana. Oh, what? Oh, holy Christ, I almost forgot it. Forget it, what I mean? God damn it. Smiley face. What the fuck is this? Genuine light draft. Fuck here. You're keeping beer in the suspension pods. Yeah, who gives a shit? Just thought this was a more sophisticated operation than reaching into the same cooler for a fellow crew member as I would a beer or a fucking juice box. Christ, it's not even good beer. Suck it up, pussy. We have refrigerators for foods and drinks, by the way, K smart ass. They're all full. Of what? Beers. Of course. What the hell use are you gonna get out of beer? I'll give you one fucking guest. What, you're gonna drink it or you? You thought it was all for you, retard. You knew it wouldn't be beers anymore if those were the cases, right? What are you talking about? What would it be? Just a bag full of shellfish. Fucking hell, man. Ruffle, what's your problem, Egg? I thought you'd be fucking stoked. I thought you were. What? I remembered something. Someone. I mentioned her name and you rushed to the pod. I thought she was here. LOL, what the hell is wrong with you? You go to bed for four years and that's kind of the first things you remembered. I got some awful lots of sorry feels for you, bro. You know her? No. She's on board, isn't she? How could she be if I doesn't know her smart guy? Why would you feel sorry for me if you didn't? You must know her if you don't like her. I doesn't like any chips. Chips are fucking lame. Wake her up. Oh fuck off, you being cereal right now. Yes, Chief. I'm being cereal. Lentils, chickpeas, and all the others in a variety of serious breakfasts. That may be true facts, Arbiter, but there's no ways I'm waking that bitch up. According to the schedule on this screen, you're supposed to wake up both Cortana and I today. According to me, I doesn't give a flying fox. Maybe not, but the fact she's listed here as mission commander suggests you ought to fucking do it anyway. I'll train her. I'm like next level. She's commander. 
she commands. You're a robot and shouldn't outrank life regardless. You woke me up because I'm deputy, didn't you? What the fuck? Because you're cool. At least I fucking thought you was. She's fucking not. What's your fucking malfunction? You said this mission was important. Yeah, but it could be the most mission ever. Postponing the scheduled awakening of its commander because you don't like her for reasons you failed to mention is reckless and jeopardizes not only the success of the mission but the lives of the crew. Besides that you said earlier you'd give me one guess, didn't you? Well, I guess that's true. Jesus fucking Christ, fine, I'll wait her up. But not for her or your faggot ass. For the mission. Whatever, just do it. Cortana? What? Who are you? The Arbiter, apparently. Are you feeling alright? I'm fine, just back off. Please. Sorry. Do you remember anything? Do you know who I am? Should I? Do you know me? Not exactly. I just woke up too. I didn't remember anything at first. Then I remembered your name. Nothing else yet really but I can shake the feeling we're friends. Still can't recall any events prior to now. Except... Except what? I'm not really sure. Whatever it was I don't think it was good. I can't remember a thing. Well let's not went to the controls deck so I can help you guys remember we better keep standing around here freezing our dicks off talking about how you can't remember anything. You. Oh hi. I know you. Oh is that a fact? You do? Well no but... That boy... I don't like you. Right back at you sweetheart. Off to a great start you were right Arbiter what a funky awesome idea All this right, was relax. awesome awesome. You want me to fill you in? Well you'd like that wouldn't you? Fuck off for a minute would you? Over there go away. Christ's sake K run this up clicks. Remember you got to hurt my dope ass track. Remember K. What's he talking about? The robot made some music it wants me to listen to. Made some music? What the hell is happening? What is all this? Look I know about as much as you except what the bot told me. We're on a cargo ship. In deep space. What? We've been in cryogenic suspension for the past four years. There's more crew but they're still asleep. The bot seems to be the ship's artificial intelligence. Its name is PAL. Short for the perfect algorithmic computer. Perfect algorithmic computer. I didn't name it. Why are we here? We're on a mission. Whatever it is we're after supposed to reveal our life's purpose. I'm your deputy. Believe it or not you're in command. Sorry I know this is a lot. Maybe we should go with Pal check out whatever it wants to show us. Get a better handle on what's happening. I don't like this. Not at all. Doesn't seem real. And Pal. I don't trust it. It seems harmless. It's been alone for a long time. Be careful. Sup? Alright, where's the control deck? That way through the door straight ahead, hang a right. Coming. I'll catch up. All right, we all went to the medicals. They get some tranquilizers. You got her in a headlock, put her to sleep, send back in her pocket, and leave all the rests to me. What's the rest? You'll shut the lid. 
We're not putting her back to sleep, she stays with us. What's your problems this time, then? I'm scared. Well, what? Why? I think there's terrible things I'm not remembering. And all this. It sounds and feels so ridiculous, like a dream Hey dude I needed you to listen to me real good. Us right here right now the mission believed me it's real and it's all that matters right now. Whatever horrible shit you think you does that you can't remember. That doesn't matter. It didn't happen. Even if it did it's been four years who the fuck cares. K. This is real K. Okay. Thanks pal. I appreciate you reminding me what does and doesn't mattress. No problem buddy. Let's go fat beats away. Just created the official We Hate John, Amanda, and Mr. Cheese Steam Group. Sent you guys invites. Ah, uh, enough. Is there a single fucking person here who isn't a uh, troll? Uh, uh, oh, oh. Look, I know the game funeral oh, thing's a little odd, but I had to hold it here. Their names are the Arbiter and Master Chief. Not Amanda and Mr. Cheese. I knew them better than most. Chief and I were mostly at odds, but Arbiter, he was one of my closest friends. I cared about him more than I think he was capable of believing. I can only hope he understood that before he disappeared. He and Master Chief's situation was unique in that they were confined to their house. Playing online games was their only way of interacting with other people. All they had otherwise was each other and nobody could have made a more volatile combination if they tried. It seemed like I was one of the few people willing to look past their dated voice engine speech and accept them for who they were. I don't care if that singles me out. Doesn't anyone remember? These were the guys who single-handedly stopped several malicious users from launching further attacks on this network since 2011. Believe it or not, I was ready to marry one of those said malicious users. I wasn't aware of what he'd done, nor that he was cheating. So Sarah, I empathize with you because Arbiter and Chief crashed my wedding too. It was on this game and this level. It certainly doesn't sound like they were justified in your case, and I was sorry to hear that, but I can't say the same for mine. I was upset for a while, but I'm glad they went through with it. They were banned afterwards. They sacrificed their sole outlet for their interaction with the outside world, so I wouldn't make that terrible mistake. What hacker clans? There was another clan. The most recent one. I don't think it had a name. That one? Those guys are something else. Chaos Theosis was one of them. The one before. Three guys, one girl. Just by fragging me in the game, one of the boys stole my passwords and credit card information and bricked my console. He was eight years old. The worst of the bunch by a mile. I can't remember his name. I'm glad he's not around anymore. When I heard about the gas explosion, I was... I couldn't believe it. Must have been a huge blow! I didn't want to believe it. For a long time, I hoped they managed to somehow get clear of the blast, and Arbiter would eventually get back in touch with me. But it didn't happen. It's been a tough road, but I think I'm finally ready to accept the fact that they're never coming back. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, sorry, I'm really confused. I always thought these guys were fictional characters. You know, for John's show, Super News, whatever it was. So, they were real guys? 
John lived with two other dudes with robot voices or what was going on there? Were they actual robots? If they died in the explosion, why wasn't it reported? Hey, yeah! This doesn't make any sense at all! This bitch is crazy! Somebody call the police! Uh, 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 huh. Hey, we're in pirate chat, right? It's cool if we talked, right? Just wanna make absolutely sure before I said any things. You knew me, Arbiter. Always carefree. I mean careful. 45 degree angle now, We face. don't need to be in private chat. Mic's off, nobody's hearing us. So that means it's Kate who yes, talked, right? Yes, just fucking listen to what I'm telling you. Okay, cool. Sorry. Should we went over the plans again and again once more times? Arbiter? Doesn't told me you're getting cold heats now, you better not be. Feet chief. Cold heats think about that one, dumbest yet. You know fuck me ever heard of freezers burn asshole? Or when you put your hands under really hot waters and it came to feels cold for How's a sec? How's that relevant to my supposed reluctance to go through with this? So you does has cold heats? No I don't, God damn it. Nothing's changed, we do what we're here to do and get the fuck out. You and I have been on a hell of a road. Nothing's gonna be the same after this. This is it. Where it all ends. It has to be. What about you? What? You got cold heat, I mean, fuck. Hell no. We need to be ready. Gotta bring everything we've got. So mercy to right. You said all the things. Funny. There is so much guns, what guns should I got first? What about those guns, or that guns over there? What is the best guns? We're not here to fuck around. Not now.
pick something else. Huh? Forget the Spartan laser, I don't give a fuck if it's got Spartan in the name. You aim with its shit might as well if with a fucking endo. Wanna bet cut face? Hey, I'm a charge in my laser. You lower that now. You think this is a fucking game? Um, we're not just working with that banning bullshit anymore. People want us dead. Don't forget what's at stake. And you don't ever point your weapon at me again. Understand? I asked you a question you fucking understand me or not? Yes. Good. What the fuck are you waiting for? Grab a rocket launcher. Fill up on grenades, both. Take one of the heavy machine guns too. You ready? None I think I changed my minds. G to G. What? Again. Well, well you said have the shit what the fuck are you talking about? Sorry bro. Hey, what? Stop. Okay. God damn it, look at me. What the hell are you doing? We can't be doing this shit right now, there isn't time. I thought we were past this. We agreed. I know, but I don't know. Oh, that clears that up. I thought I'd be able to do this, but I don't know. I think now that maybe we shouldn't do it. You're seriously telling me this now? I can tell you later if you want it. What the fuck was that? Was that a joke? No. LOL. You think this is funny? No, I'm for real sorry, Kay. I don't know, seriously, it's just one of those things you doesn't realize till the very last minute, I best. It's one of those things you don't realize until the very last minute because you still haven't fucking grown up in the slightest big difference. Bitch, check these pecs. Flex. Flexy pecs. I'll kill you so hard you might not live long enough to die before you have a chance to scream. Shut up. Stop getting around. We talked about this extensively. Look, we have done some wild shits. Me especially cause I am hardcore like that. Go back off everybody. This no. Fun this this is fun. No shit asshole. I'm not saying you shouldn't does it. As a mattress of facts you'll probably have a much more bitter chance if you just does it yourself anyways. To be perfectly honestly with you I was getting the scared you isn't fun understood. Just goes to shows the one single case you understood is a good communications. We have accomplished a lot just now and both of the two of us should be very proud. I'm happy face this is so way far behind us now. Good luck dude. Smiley face. Close shit now. Sad face. What the hell man? I'll have a better chance on my own. Because that's what you've been saying your whole fucking life, how awful you are at Halo, right? Lot of crap and shit. This is something both of us have to do. I doesn't want it to does it anymore, Kay. You think I do? 
Have you not taken in a single fucking word I've said this whole time? This is the last fucking thing I want to do. Honestly, I'd rather listen to you talk one more time about how the Master Chief Collection is the greatest new Halo game ever, but it doesn't matter how either of us feel we don't have a choice. You kept fucking saying that from sucker, but we does everybody's always do. Ow. Get your big stupid fucking gay hands off me. Ow. Seriously, that hurts your grabbing too hard. Ow. Fucking egg, I'll kick your fucking- Stop fucking God moving. damn it, fuck you. Ow. Fucking cunt, eat shit. Ow. The entire time I've known you beat on trivial favors, I've never asked you for a fucking thing. Not long after we came back, we agreed we were gonna find out why we're here at any cost. This is key to finding our purpose. I know it is. Some things led us to this point, just like last time and the time before that. How does you do, huh? How does you do that? Because something brought us back. That's irrefutable. We were fucking vaporized, yet here we are back in a bedroom in these stupid fucking bodies. I'm really sorry, dude. You fucking coward. You just go on and eat yourself up a nice mug of cocoa and wank yourself while I discover the meaning of both our lives alone. What if you're wrong? I'm not wrong. What if all? What's gonna happen to us? Worst case scenario, the world comes for our heads and we go down as two of the most sadistic cyber criminals in history. Okay. What if people's already found it out where we is? I reckon they'll be pissed when they realize we have a hell of a hard time staying dead.